Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor e-commerce store video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we're going to continue on with our little store build. We haven't actually installed Elementor yet. I guess we could do that first thing and then we'll go ahead and build a product. So let's go to our dashboard and go to plugins. Once there, let's hit the add new button and simply type in Elementor. And it'll pop up in the search pane right here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the install now button. For those of you that don't know, Elementor is a fantastic page builder that allows you to turn your WordPress site into something pretty special. It comes in two flavors, a free version and a pro version. I'm going to try and make this whole site using the free version. But if you want to check out the pro version, do. It's got some great extra features and you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. Okay, once installed, let's go and activate it. And there we are. There's a great little video about it right here if you want to check that out. And you can see in the dashboard right here, you've got all your settings for Elementor. So we've got that all ready for when we need to use it. We'll get a few products created first and then start using our Elementor. So let's go and create our first products. Let's go to products. And you might notice we've got this PayPal checkout with new smart payments buttons. That's a feature of WooCommerce that's going to disappear shortly. So you want to go ahead and disable that. So I'm going to middle mouse button WooCommerce right here and open it up in a new tab. I'm going to go to settings. We're going to go to our payments tab and hit the manage on the PayPal checkout right here. And if we scroll down the page, you're going to see part smart payment buttons. Go ahead and uncheck that and save the changes. Okay, let's go back to our product page and create a product. I'm going to call this HP Office Laptop. This is going to be a simple product. In the description, we'll put uh, the full description in here and we'll take sort of part of this and use it for the short description down below. Okay, we want to keep this as a simple product. It's not a virtual product. A virtual product would be a service or something that you provide for somebody. And it's not a downloadable product like software or audio files, MP3s, etc. So we want to set our regular price. So let's make it $4.99. And we can put it on sale by just putting a sale price. Obviously, it's going to be lower than the regular price below it right there. Tax days, it's taxable. Tax class is standard. That's fine, unless you've got different tax classes for whatever you've got set up for your store. Now, if we move on down to inventory, you can check this to manage stock. And you can put in the amount that you have. We'll say we've got 50. Allow back orders. I'm going to leave that on do not allow. Basically, that means if the stock runs out, people can't order it. Whereas if you allow back orders, when it gets down to zero, they can still order it, but they're not going to get it until you resupply. Low stock threshold. This will send an email to your selected email address when the stock gets down to two left. Now, if you only want to sell one of these products to each shopper just check the little box there i'm happy to sell as many as i can to as many people as i can so that's inventory taken care of shipping don't really need to fill this out because i've got flat rate on everything if you watch my setup i've, I've got 20 dollars flat rate you can put in the weight dimensions here and a shipping class if you've created a shipping class for it 
and there's plenty of third-party plugins that if you've got the weight etc you can send with UPS or USPS and calculate live shipping rates but as I say I've got mine as standard $20, $20 shipping throughout the United States so I really don't have to put anything in there linked products well we haven't got any other products to link to it at the moment so no point me doing this we can do cross sales and up sales but when I've got more products, we'll come back to this and show you how that works. Attributes. Well, this is a simple product, so I'm not going to add attributes to this at the moment. Um, but what I will do is when we do a variable product, we'll use attributes to calculate our variations. But for a simple product, this is not necessary at the moment. You can add purchase notes and menu order stuff right here if you need to put notes for yourselves about these things. And if you hit the get more options, there's all kind of additional plugins you can add to give you more options. Okay, so we've got all our price and our shipping, everything. We've got our description taken care of. Next thing we wanna do is actually add a product image. So I'm going to drag over our product image and just drag the image in here and drop it. And there we go. Now again, we've got alt text with an image. You can put in a description of the image here. Like I say, a lot of people use this for keywords. They'll put in their location and stuff like that to help with SEO. That's entirely up to you. And set the product image. Okay, well, let's go ahead and publish this. I believe we're good to go. And let's have a look at our product now that we've published it. And here it is. Here's our first product. We've got a title. We've got our description. So we're good. We can hit the Add to Cart button. Once it's been added to the cart, just hit the View Cart like any other site. And you'll see it in your cart right here. You can apply a coupon if you've created one. And if you're ready, you can go ahead and proceed to checkout. We won't do that just yet. I'm gonna enable what they call PayPal Sandbox so we can run through a purchase to, just to make sure everything's working. We'll do that when we've got a few more products. So there we have it. There's our first simple product created. In the next video, we'll go ahead and create a variable product. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.